first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so friends before watching the seating arrangement for the mains level exams so you have to know one important thing so before watching this video the same question what i am going to teach here is available as the test series right so visit my website or my mobile application feel free to learn so there in the reasoning ability when you scroll down at the last you can able to see a test called seating arrangement mains level so there you can able to see the same question the same question as a test for 15 minutes what I am going to teach now so first what you need to do here is so friends first write the test and if you can able to get 5 out of 5 extremely good and if you can't able to score that mark and you are struggling to solve the arrangement and then come and watch this video right why because without writing the test just like that if you watch this video then 100% the video will be no use so first you have to write the test analyze your score and where you are making a mistake completely look into all these stuff and then watch the video definitely this video will be helpful so now let me move on to all the seating arrangement for mains level exams. So friends here is the set number 8 and set number 9 seating arrangement mains level question. So I hope you have taken the test right. So set number 8 and set number 9 is completely different because this arrangement is a kind of an hexagon shape seating arrangement. So while teaching set number 5 and set number 6 there I have taught you a triangle shape seating arrangement and there also I have told you what all the different cases are there and still they can ask you a different model also like hexagon uh, 6 uh, pentagon 5 4 will be square or rectangle so 3 will be triangle so a different sort of arrangement seating arrangement can be asked so try to practice all the different kinds of arrangement before going for the uh, mains exams like SBAPO or CAT exams right so only if you learn all the models so you can able to solve the question in your exams so I hope it's not that much like mains level question but anyway after solving it you can able to understand what all the different arrangements they can ask in the exams right because all are the memory based question papers of the previous year IBBS, SBA, CAT exams, UPSC exams right so here is the set number 8 seating arrangement so 6 fruits are kept on an hexagon table and such that fruits are facing the center facing inside that facing inside the table but not necessarily in the same order so all the fruits are placed at the corner of the table that is most important right so if it is a hexagon right so we can draw two diagram in case if you are getting any possibilities so this will be the hexagon shape so six points will be there and either the fruits can be placed at mid of the middle of the point so middle of the points will be here or else the fruits can be placed at the corners so here according to the question the fruits are placed at the corners so corners which means all the fruits will be placed here right this is also important because sometimes the fruits will be placed at the middle of the corner so middle of the corners will be this point right? so now first only one item was placed between mango and the guava so between mango and guava there will be only one item was placed so we can fix mango here so mango and guava so either mango right hand side it can be guava or else we can fix mango here so mango left hand side it can be guava so in both the diagrams you can able to see between uh, mango and guava there is a gap of one fruit so either it can be left hand side or it can be a right hand side so second point the grape was placed exactly facing towards the mango so mango exactly facing so here is the fruit which will be grape right so similarly mango grape okay so next point so the position of guava from grape is the same as the position of mango from apple right so from grape our target is to find the position right so from grape the position of guava will be grape left hand side is guava so in the diagram apple left hand side should be mango so apple left hand side should be mango but here so grape right hand side is guava right so grape right hand side is guava so apple right hand side should be mango so apple right hand side should be mango so friends understood or not from grape so from grape to guava so from grape to guava so here from grape it will be on left hand side so from grape to guava it will be on the right hand side so similar position for apple and mango that to from apple important point right so next will be 
the number of fruits between grape and apple will be same as mango and banana. So grape and apple, so one and this side we have three fruits. So similarly mango and banana, so we can fix banana here. Only then we can say between mango and banana, year one and year three. So similarly between mango and banana. So this will be banana, right? So between mango and banana, one fruit and this side it will be three. So only one place is remaining that will be for orange, right? So orange is the only fruit remaining. So we can fix orange here. That's it. So that's it. Finally, the arrangement is completed. What about the last point? The orange was not placed immediate right of mango. So immediate right of mango, it should not be orange. So immediate right of mango here in this diagram, we have orange. So this is eliminated. So here immediate left of mango is orange. So this will be the correct diagram. So finally, we can say that this case number one is the answer for this arrangement. Very easy. Definitely, it's not a mains level question. But you have to understand all the different cases of seating arrangement, right? So either the these uh, fruits can be placed on the uh, corners or the fruits can be placed on the middle of the corners or so middle of the corners will be here. So you, you can able to see one year, uh, three years or four years back. In one exam, they have asked an hexagonal uh, same thing. So the person who are all sitting at the corners are facing center, who are all sitting on the middle of the corner. So middle of the corners will be this area, where facing outside. So similar sort of question it was asked in three years back on, I don't know which exam, but we have a memory based question paper of it. So these kinds of question can also be asked in the mains level exam. So practice all. That's the reason we have given it. So now let me move on to the Second, that is set number 9, seating arrangement. That is also an hexagonal shape. So here is the set number 9, seating arrangement, right, hexagonal shape. So there are 12 person A to L or standing in a circumference of the hexagon platform such that 6 person are standing at the corner who are not facing the center and the person who are all standing on the sides are facing the center. Just now I told you, right? So this is one of the memory based question paper of three years back, one of the mains exam question paper. Say, similar, same question, exact question, hexagon, where the corner, but remember one thing, the previous hexagon, which I have drawn is, is just for a rough diagram, why? Because only six person are sitting. But when it comes to 12 person, remember that every person should face another person that is called as an hexagonal, uh, exact hexagonal diagram looks like. For example, uh, I can draw the diagram here, just see. So the person who is sitting here, he will be facing the person who is sitting here, right? So each and every person on the hexagon platform will be facing another person. So friends, understood or not, right? So this, so the person who are sitting at the corners are facing outside right so just see so this person should be opposite to this and this person should be opposite to this this person should be opposite to this so this is the exact hexagonal shape the person who was sitting at the corners are facing outside sorry i can't able to draw the diagram perfectly but anyway i hope you understood the, the logic right so each and every person should face another person right so Let me draw another diagram here. So in case if we are getting any possibilities. So. So this person will be opposite to this. This person will be opposite to this. And this person. Be opposite to this. Yes, and the person who are all sitting at the corners are facing outside, and the person who are all sitting at the uh, this what is what they are saying is sides, right? They, they are mentioning it, it as a sides. So sides are facing the center, right? So first point D stands fourth to right of H. So H right hand side, fourth is D. But actually we don't know whether the person H is facing the center or H is not facing the center. So what I can do here is in this diagram, we can fix H here. So H is facing center. In this diagram, we can fix H is facing outside. So H right hand side, fourth place is D. So H right hand side, one, two, three, and four. So this will be the place for D. So similarly, H right hand side. So one, two, three, four. So this will be the place for D. 
O is third to left of E. So E left hand side at the third place is H. So E left hand side third place is H. So I should fix E here. So only then we can say E left hand side third place will be H. So similarly E left hand side third place must be H. So I think I can fix E here. So if I fix E here, so E left hand side 1, 2, 3. So this will be the place for H. So next point B stands second to right of E. So E right hand side at a second place is B. So I can fix B here. So similarly E right hand side at a second place. E right second is B. So 1 and 2. So this will be the place for B. Who is 3 person away from K? So who represents the person E? So the person E is 3 person away from K. So 1, 2, 3. Third person but here already H is there. So 1, 2, 3. This will be the place for K. So similarly E right. 1, 2, 3. So here we can't able to fix K. So 1, 2, 3 and this will be the place for K. So 3 person away from K. So G sits stands to the immediate left of K. So immediate left of K will be G. So immediate left of K here, it will be the place for G, right? So similarly, immediate left of K. So immediate left of K, this will be the place for G. So G stands to the immediate left of K, okay? And uh, and it's exactly opposite to C. So C opposite will be G. So C opposite will be G. I should fix C here. So C opposite will be G. Okay. So A faces towards the center and it's to the immediate right of F. So just see here, the person A is facing the center, but the person F right hand side is A. Actually, this is the right. F right hand side should be A. And the person A should be facing the center. So this, if I fix A here, we can't able to fix F. So this will be the only place for F and A because F right hand side should be A and the person A should be facing the center. So similarly, F right hand side should be A and the person should be facing the center, right? So, I think this will be F, right? Because F right hand side, this will be A. So, only then we can say A is facing the center. F right hand side is A. So, still one more point to go. L stands second to right of I. So, I right hand side. So, I right hand side at a second place. It will be L. And third to right of J. So, J right hand side at a third place is L. J, J right hand side third place is L. So I right hand side second place is L. Right. Okay. So what I can do is I can fix I here actually. So I right hand side second place is L. So I right hand side second place is L. And J right hand side third place is L. So J right hand side 1, 2, 3 third place is L. So similarly I right hand side. So this will be I, right? So I right hand side second place is L. And the J right hand side third place is L. So I can fix J, J right hand side third place is L. Okay, so finally we fixed everything. So still one more point to go. Who does not stand adjacent to A? So A adjacent. So A neighbor should not be J. So in this diagram, A neighbor is J. So definitely it is wrong. In this diagram, A neighbor is not J. So this will be the answer for the question why because at the last day i've given so uh, a is not adjacent to j so nearby a it should not be j but in the case number one we are getting a immediate neighbor as j but in case number two we are not getting it so we can surely say that this will be the answer for the question so friends that's it so remember one thing if you are going for any mains exam or tough level competitive exams so timing is not at all important right so only thing even if you spend 10 minutes or 15 minutes to solve any one arrangement in the exam finally after 15 minutes you should get the answer right so speed and that nothing is important be very slow right very very slow fix the clues properly surely you will get the answer right so after 15 minutes and if you are not getting the answer, then the, you, sh you should practice more, right? So practice is always important. Do not forget to write the test. So first write the test and then come and watch the video and so that you can able to check what are all the mistakes that you are making. So friends, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you really like it, share the video to your friends, those who are preparing for the competitive exams. So thank you so much. Bye.